Hello and welcome to StarCraft 2. We're going to play the tutorial. Welcome to StarCraft 2, a strategy game of economy and base management where you can command your armies to gain control of the battlefield and defeat your armies. You may repeat this tutorial as often as you like before leading your armies into uh, to glory in single player campaign. Good luck, Commander. I was really aching to play StarCraft 2. Even if I'm not doing the main campaign, I'm I at least wanted to do the tutorial. I also had to log into Battle.net in order to do this, so. Oh god, that looks beautiful. Welcome to the Dominion Future Commander Training Simulation Module. Oops. Here you will learn to use our interface and issue orders to your forces. Begin by left clicking on a unit to select it. Hold on. Uh options. I want subtitles. Um hold up. Gameplay. Where's the subtitles? Uh, sound. There we go. Sit. This better be good. Information about the selected unit is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Additionally, the commands for this unit are displayed in the bottom right. It is time to issue a command. Right click the beacon to order the Marine to move to it. Well done, recruit. Next, you will learn the attack move order. This is another way to instruct the Marine to move, but he will automatically attack any enemies along the way. Give the attack move order now. Press the attack key to enter the targeting mode, then left click the ground to confirm your target location. Okay, hold on. A. That's robot. it, Commander. I have noted your ability to follow basic instructions. Thank you. The minimap will reveal an overview of the battlefield. It is located in the bottom left section of the screen. You may adjust your view of the battlefield anytime by moving your mouse to the edges of the screen. Try adjusting your camera so that it is centered on the highlighted area ahead. Hostile units detected. I will send you additional reinforcements. You can also left click the minimap to change your view of the battlefield. Left click the highlighted area on the map now to view your reinforcements. Please use the minimap to adjust the. Very good, Commander. Your aptitude scores have exceeded the current average. Ready. The Dominion prizes cooperation. You may order a group of units in the same manner you would order an individual. Issue an attack move command to your marines by pressing the attack key, then left clicking the ground to confirm your target location. Go. Your completion of this exercise has placed you in the 90th percentile of all Dominion recruits. Thank you. Receiving transmission. Command simulation terminated. Listen up. We've got a situation that needs a commander, and you're the best recruit we've seen for months. What do you say? Ready for some field experience? Sure. Alright. Continue. Field game. Whoa. Welcome to Taurus 4. Not my favorite planet in the sector. Some of our science officers went out looking for Protoss artifacts last week. And those eggheads haven't returned yet. It can get ugly out there. I need you to establish a base and send out a search party. Okay. Your command center's landing now. You're gonna need some SCVs to handle your mining and construction. We're low on stored minerals, so let's get the SCVs gathering them. Yeah! Look at them go. They'll keep mining until you tell them to stop. Must think they're getting paid overtime. <laughs> 
Check the top right corner of your screen to see how many minerals you've stockpiled. We're gonna need more SCVs to get all the minerals we need. You can train them up at the command center. You're getting the hang of this. SCVs take time to get ready, but you can queue up some more while we wait. We'll need 12 SCVs to mine efficiently here. I'll even set up an objective for you at the top left of your screen so you can track your progress. Don't bother thanking me. Oh, was he got it? Minion scum. I work for Rainer. Well, not yet. This is a Dominion one. SCV ready. Alright. Yeah, so this is StarCraft 2. This game is beautiful and so much fun. I can't wait for the part of the game, which is pretty early. Nothing's free out here. Everyone on this base costs us a certain amount of supplies. Up in the top right corner of your screen, you'll see the current supply amount and its limits. Reach the limit, and we can't train anyone else. Good news is that SCVs can set up supply depots to increase our limit. Go on and order an SCV to build a supply depot. We haven't gotten that thing yet, but it's my absolute favorite part. All right. He'll be busy until the depot's finished, but after that, you can assign him a new task. to train our troops for combat. Select an SCV and order him to start building one. Yeah. Yeah. We You can also cancel a building if you don't want it built in a certain place. That's a good looking barracks, if I say so myself. Let's start training some Marines. We'll need five of them before we push out. Your objective has been updated so you can keep track. Alright. Q is full. Gangway, coming through. <laughs> Why not? Let's get more. Want a piece of me, boy? This better be good. Well, they all have different things to say. Don't push me. I turn around. Oh. Who wants some? Oh. <laughs> We're patrolling back and forth. You'll be promoted in no time if you keep this up. Let's get those Marines on the move. Hold on, Commander. I'm receiving some intel from our scanner suite. It's detecting Zerg biosignatures in this area. We're gonna have to be real careful with this one. Use your attack move command while exploring. Then your Marines will be on their guard if they come across enemies. Okay. Got it. Oops. You gonna give me orders? All right, this is the tab I was looking for. Well, there's our scientists. What's left of them? Oh. I'd better let HQ know about this. Hold here and wait for further orders. Okay. Now we get our Zerg tutorial. Planet. I will join you soon with reinforcements. 
Hi. Okay. Okay, one sec. Alright, Zerg campaign! Let's do it. Overlord. Yes, as your swarm grows in number, you will need to continue to morph overlords to increase your supply. That looks absolutely amazing. Your hatchery has burst more lava. Morph them into drones, and we shall grow your hive cluster. You now have two lava cells. Good. Drones harvest resources and mutate into structures according to our needs. This is also your Vespian gas, uh... If you are to conquer this planet, you will require an army. But before you can create one, you will need a spawning pool. Order a drone to mutate into one now. Okay, hold on. I will do that in a sec. To make a spawning pool, first select a drone. Click the basic mutation button. Click the mutate into spawning pool button. Left click on the ground to place it. Mutating a drone into a structure is permanent. Remember to warp more drones to account for this loss. That's so cool. Yep. What? Now I shall instruct you how to morph more advanced minions. But to do so, you will require Vespin gas. Ah, there is a Vespin visor nearby. Excellent. First, you must order a drone to morph into an extractor above the geyser. Once that is finished, other drones will be able to harvest gas from it. Okay, so they don't, they assume that you've already done the tutorial, so they don't go through other stuff in like later episodes or later parts of the game. Yes, the amount of gas you have gathered is shown in the top right corner. You are ready to strengthen your brood. A roach warren will allow you to morph stronger creatures. Roach? So, roaches are no. Select a drone to begin. Hold on. I'm making a new one. I'm not going to sacrifice my other ones. Select a drone to begin. She's going to keep uh, saying that until I select a, a drone. Select a drone to be click there. the basic mutation. Click the mutate into roach warren button. Left click on the ground to place the war. I see your mind is also evolving. Ha 
it is fascinating watching Zerg uh, base it or Zerg buildings become, uh, you know, the buildings. Boom. Your roach warren is ready. You may begin morphing roaches. All right. Roaches are bred to absorb damage. Their fortitude will help you conquer this world. Okay. Not Zerg! This is the 21st Assault Division on Taurus 4. We are under attack by the Zerg. Do you read me? Immediate evac request to Alright. We weren't done yet, Protoss. Evening warriors. We have been intercepted in terror distress signal from Taurus 4. The Zerg has invaded the planet. We shall not let this stand. We must eradicate the enemy at once. Okay. It's too late. It's already down. The Terran transmission originated at these coordinates. It appears their warriors have already been infested by the Zerg. We must give them peace and death. Very wise. Dragoons! Are they dragons? Stalkers. Protoss have shields. Our forces are protected by their shields. They will regenerate quickly unless they take further damage. We have to go further. We must know how far the Zerg infestation is spread. There are only three races. Protoss, Terran, Zerg. That's fine. 
Go, look at those guys go. Okay, good. Hurry up. Cybernetics core here. I really don't have to explain much, do I? That's fine. Well done. Initiate warp sequences for the stalkers at our gateways. Ah, oh, I need more additional pylons. You must construct additional pylons. Okay, that's it. Options. Gameplay, game speed, boom! Except, we look at that! Whoa, way too slow. Game changes pace to faster. We still require more stalkers, warp food from the gateways. Yep, I know. Look at how fast they are now! Your bravery has brought us victory, my warriors. The golden armada has arrived. Alright. That was awesome. All right, uh, I'm gonna end this off here, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna begin StarCraft 2. Bye.